Hi friends, I am Dr. Robert Clive from Crossland College, Brahmavar. I would like to explain a few aspects related to the topic training. This topic is part of the syllabus for the sixth semester rural development students of Mangalore University. First, let's understand the concept of training. Whatever may be the situation, training basically means a procedure to increase the knowledge and skills of the trainees. According to Edward B. Flippo, training is an art of increasing the knowledge and skills of an employee for doing a particular job. In simple terms, in a workplace, training means an exercise to improve the knowledge and skills to do their jobs better. Why do we need training in a workplace? Let's understand the need and importance of training in a workplace. Let me share some points to understand the importance. First of all, training helps a new worker to develop a new skill and for the existing worker to learn a new skill for doing a new job. Next, it increases the efficiency level of the workers and thereby it helps to improve their productivity. Of course, it results in increasing the production and saving for the organization. Next, training helps to update the knowledge and skills of the existing workers with a new emerging area. Training also helps the trainees to identify their potentials and use those potentials in their workplace. With the training, the workers can perform their work with more confidence and it gives them a lot of satisfaction. Every day, there are changes happening in the way technology is used in workplace. Training helps the workers to adapt themselves to new technologies. Next, with the training, the workers can work independently with less supervision. Training also prepares the employees for promotion to bigger roles. It also gives them more safety tips that in turn helps in reducing accidents in workplaces. Training reduces the cost in operations and it enhances better utilization of resources. And finally, it is very helpful in reducing the attrition level among employees. Now, let's take a look at the types of training. Generally, there are two types of training, on-the-job training and off-the-job training. Now, let's go through the classification under both on-the-job training and off-the-job training. On the job training side, we have internship, apprenticeship, orientation training, job duties training, job rotation, staff development meetings, problem solving conferences, safety training, coaching, mentoring, committee assignments, refresher training, and promotional training. And on the 
ऑफ द जॉब ट्रेनिंग साइड वी हैव शॉर्ट कोर्सेस सेमिनार्स आउटसाइड सर्टिफिकेट प्रोग्राम्स एडवांस्ड कोर्सेस आउटसाइड मीटिंग्स एंड कॉन्फ्रेंसेस एंड फाइनली आउटडोर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स let's see the details under on the job training basically it is a training given to someone when he is on the job in the real workplace the main advantages of the on the job training are it is less expensive and not much arrangements are required and employees learn it more willingly with a lot of motivation now let's understand the methods of on the job training internship internship is a work experience given to students in the workplace for a limited period of time apprenticeship is on the job training given to newcomers to sharpen their skills orientation training is given to the newcomers as part of inducting them into the organization job duties training explains the responsibilities and duties of a new employee in simple terms it involves the job description through job rotation the employees are given training in different roles in the organization in staff development meetings the superiors motivate the employees with regular interactions problem solving conferences provide an opportunity to explore solutions to problems from the trainees safety training provide safety tips in the workplace coaching is to help the employees to develop their potentials to achieve a goal safety training provide safety tips in the workplace coaching is to help the employees to develop their potentials to achieve a goal mentoring is providing guidance now let's understand what we mean by off the job training in simple words employees receive some kind of training outside the location of their workplace the major types of off the job training are short term courses most often they lead to a certification a seminar or a conference to get new information on the latest developments related to the work sometimes employees go for an advanced course such as an executive mba to gain more knowledge and skills beyond all this employees are also taken to a new location and given training in different areas related to their work the major advantage of off the job training is that the experts train the employees and the training cost can be easily calculated but on the flip side it is very expensive and it may not be very relevant to the real work environment finally let's see how trainings are conducted the most common method 
used in training is a short duration lecture by an expert but often it is a one way communication process at the next level training is enhanced with the help of powerpoint slides audio and video clippings and relevant images brainstorming is a method that helps in generating new ideas from the participants case study method is very popular in management training where real situations are given as a case for an in-depth analysis to understand the different dimensions of a case in a role play trainees take up the roles of different persons or characters to get some insights education games generate learning through the participation by the trainees simulation techniques are used for creating a true to life learning environment that mirrors real life work scenario through conferences experts present new ideas and clarify doubts of the participants group discussion is a platform where trainees can share their views and opinions finally in the in basket method problems are kept in a basket to help the employees to learn more about their jobs i hope through this presentation i am able to provide some understanding on the topic training in workplace thank you